This is not an orthopedic discussion, Brian, as you know. It's a discussion on neuro orthopedics or neuromechanics. And when you say the word myo, muscle, kinematics, that muscle also kinematically can change positions. And we'll talk about what the definition of myokinematics means, but the definition really is best applied to this particular part of the body uh, because of the nature of the work. There's, no, there's nothing higher than, than this site for eccentric and concentric activity. We got a couple pages in your manual that talk about short and, you know, short and strong muscle and long and weak muscle and muscle that changes as you orient yourself from side to side, whether you're standing, shifting, or running, or walking. So it's a very highly uh, motivated center to give and take. There's gotta be a lot of give and take. And both sides have to do that. You not only have give and take on both sides of this femur or this acetabulum, you have two sides that have to give and take. There are three planes, real quickly. Myokinematics includes three planes. It's triplanar. And triplanar means sagittal, frontal, and transverse. So before I even start clicking a slide, before I even getting into, before I get into the institute and what we do with patterns and positions, we just need to remember that it says myokinematic restoration. And you wouldn't even have to read the next sentence, and you would know that that next sentence would have to apply to, if you're going to restore normal myokinematic function in the body, in this wonderful system of ours, you'd have to start through this area. Because even though you wire something differently with a visual system, uh, with a mouth, with a neck, with an ankle, with an arm, it still has to go through this system for clearance for you to fully have the appreciation of not compensating for activity you want to carry out.